is I am so excited it's May 1st and that means I've been on YouTube for a whole month and that's huge for me shout out to you guys for all supporting me and yeah I don't know that just means so much to me and it's just like a little you know boost today and it's definitely been a tough week so I wanted to film a video on the first to like yeah to feel good anyways so I filmed an eyebrow tutorial and I listed all the products that I used in the description down below and I will briefly talk about them so I use the Mac eyeshadow in the color Brune or Brun um, I don't honestly know if it's like specifically eyeshadow for eyebrows or if it's actually an eyeshadow but I also got it three years ago, so I don't know if that specific color would still be there. I don't see why not, though. I also use a MAC concealer, those two bad boys paired together with their trusty brushes. So you can use any type of brush, I'm sure, to conceal under your eyebrows if you even do that. But I use a flat concealer brush from MAC again. And then I also use an angled eyeshadow brush or eyebrow brush, sorry from MAC, I will list the numbers. I also use the Anastasia brow gel, but I've used a different variation of brow gels and they've all worked the same. You just need something to kind of set your product in place. Urban Decay Naked Skin Fluid Highlighter in the color Sin or the shade Sin. I don't really know. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. It was kind of fun to make, a little stressful, a little pressure. Anyways, let's just, you know. So I go in and I take the Benefit pencil, but I use just the spoolie side, and I just brush my brows into the shape that I'd like them. Okay, that hair needs to, ah! <laughs> Extra. Okay. And then I go right in for the kill. I'm just going to really quickly go back in just to make sure that I'm pleased with how they're looking shape-wise. I'm going to start off by picking up powder onto my brush and tapping off the excess. And then I'm going to draw a line underneath my brow to start creating the shape that I'd like. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on top and draw a line to define the arch of my brow. Oh, this really shines bright on my forehead, doesn't it? Whatever. Now I'm going to take my brow brush and draw a faint line underneath my eyebrow hairs so that I can form that gradient effect for it to become lighter in the front and keep the darkness in the back. When I take the product on the top of my brow, I avoid my front hairs because I just push the product with the brush forward so that I get the natural look that I want. Also, when you're using any type of brow product, you wanna make sure that your brush strokes are going in the direction that your hair is growing. So if your hair grows backwards, then brush backwards. And if your hair grows upwards, then brush upward. Then I'll turn my brush upside down and follow my hairs. So that's what the brow looks like after just doing the powder. So I take this MAC concealer. I'm going to now clean it up with the concealer. So I prefer to take a flat concealer brush to first define my brow and then go in with a shading brush to blend out that concealer and give it the nice clean look. So now that I've cleaned up the bottom, I'm going to kind of basically just sharpen out my edges and I don't really know how to do that without putting my freaking hand in the camera so pinkies up <laughs> back in with that spoolie and kind of just brush anything out make sure everything's pretty well blended I love eyebrows you guys I really do and that my friends is a brow Don't 
worry if you get a little messy. Like I said, that concealer literally saves lives. disrespected with the way it's coming out right now but then again at the same time I really do have to take into consideration that brows are like sisters and not BFFs I mean what are they what is that brows are sisters and not twins that's the saying yeah all right so I'm actually gonna just finish cleaning up because I don't think there's much I can do with this brow so I'm going to create that sharpness Maybe I'm just not used to the hair being there. I don't know what it is. It's weirding me out. Now I'm going to take the Anastasia Brow Gel. Okay, you guys. So the brows are now basically complete. But I'm going to put the Urban Decay liquid highlighter underneath my brow balm, brow balm, my brow bone. So I just go like that. so much for watching I decided to do this just because I've got a lot of makeup looks coming this week not a ton but like a few and I know I'm going to end up doing my eyebrows off camera just to save time I just wanted to save the whole hassle of not showing you guys how I do them by giving you guys a natural eyebrow tutorial and yeah I hope you guys like this and please make sure to comment like share or subscribe or all three or you know I keep giving you guys options but I just got to tell you guys you guys gotta like it, you gotta comment, you gotta subscribe. The likes support my channel like KK. Um, I am delusional right now. 100%. I'm so tired. Like, I'm literally crashing as we speak. I just need pizza. Does that make sense? Who can relate to that? Now I need to lower my, what is this even called? <laughs> I'm using a flat concealer. <laughs>